Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Avis. Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to take a look at my arsenal inventory, or better said, locker once again. So I would just say let's start. It's actually been quite some time since my previous video about my inventory slash locker, and I just want to document what I've been collecting over the past few years so we can kind of keep track of it. And I personally think it might be quite interesting. I hope you guys will actually enjoy this one as well. So let's just start, of course, with some more of the unimportant stuff. I think the first category we're going to start with are going to be the emotes right here. We're going to focus on some I guess special ones because I think some people don't know really the older emotes I'm going to try to showcase some of these that you can actually not get anymore so let's just do that so one of the older emotes I'm definitely going to showcase is going to be the summer slack emote because it's from one of the older events of course from the summer event I think this was actually one of the first events so it was quite cool we also have the coolify emote which is very very nice as well so we're definitely going to take a look at that one and I think both of these aren't really available anymore we can just double check that by going to the flare case and then just see if we can find any of these right here the summer slack emote i don't think we can see that one and then the coolify let's see if we can find that one i don't think so either so those are definitely two of the ones that you can not get anymore so it's definitely quite interesting another one we have right here was actually from i think the first kind of battle pass that we had in arsenal we have right here the groovy grill but as far as i'm concerned you can actually unbox this one now from the crate right here let's just double check that yeah i think you can actually unbox it it's right there so it's not really special anymore Anyway, so let's check for some other ones right here. We have the Loud Laugh right here, which is actually from one of the Christmas events. We also have the Hot Chocolate one. And we have right here some of the ones from the Valentine's event. I think these are really cool, actually. We also have the Crazy Chainsaw, which we're definitely going to take a look at in a few seconds. Let's just double check if those are available in the shop really quickly. And of course, in a few minutes, I'm going to showcase you guys all of these emotes. So I think the Chainsaw emote is also not part of the shop right here. And now let's just check for the other one as well. We can see the Loud Laugh. You can actually get from the crate right here which is quite interesting so some of the items that were given out during the events you can actually unbox now from the crates which i think is actually fine let's see for the emote right here um let's see if that one is available okay so we found another one that is not available in the shop right here which is going to be the nutcracker emote uh, right here nutcracker march so quite nice and let's see maybe the ufo i think you can actually unbox that one what about the witch's broom maybe hat trick is also kind of cool i think um i guess we're gonna take maybe this one right here there we go so we have some quite interesting emotes let's take a look at all of these really quickly so one of my favorite emotes from all times is of course the summer slack emote i think this one is really cool you used to have a drink in your hand i have no clue i guess they kind of ruined the mesh for that one or i guess lost the texture because it's not visible anymore but by clicking the left mouse button you can actually use this one right here and drink some very nice milkshake i guess i really don't know maybe it was a coffee or milkshake it was pretty cool it's a very nice one you can see as soon as you leave it you just throw away the stool and of course the umbrella I guess then of course we have the coolify one which is very very nice because you're going to actually keep on the sunglasses or sunshades right here so that's really really nice it's going to stay of course until you're gonna get killed which I think is very very nice then of course we have the bubble blower one which is actually from the valentine's event a very very nice one we have the chainsaw right here which is kind of cool as well um, you can just run around with the chainsaw. It doesn't do damage, but it's still quite nice, I guess. And then, of course, we have the Nutcracker March right here, which is, I think, from the Christmas event. A really, really nice one. And last but not least, of course, we have the hat trick, which I think is also quite hilarious. So now, let's move on to the next category. So this time around, we have some melees right here. And to be honest, we have some really cool ones. We have some older ones. We have right here one of the more recent ones, the banana. We have, of course, the bat from the summer event quite a long time ago. Of course, we have the bouquet right here, which is one of the items from the Valentine's Day event, which was very very fun as well we have one of the code items right here the block c which is very nice next up of course we have some christmas event items which are really really cool as well as you can see i'm just going to showcase my favorite ones from all of these we of course have the saber which is one of the game pass items we have the space katana which is actually one of the older items not fully sure when this one came out but it's quite a long time ago we have the swordfish uh, which was also released during a christmas event we have the silver bell right here a summer event we have the scythe from the halloween event i think 2019 um i'm not fully sure i don't really remember that anyway so now of course we have a few other ones like the rubber hammer also from the halloween event very very cool one i think and then a few other ones like the icicle right here very very nice ones and my favorite ones are probably going to be definitely the scythe i think that one is super cool and the rubber hammer i really like those two and we also have some non-event items that i really like as an example we have the end bringer i think that one is super cool or we also have the saber i really like that one so yeah not bad next up of course we have the announcers i think there's nothing too special right here we have some of the code announcers and then some event ones so i guess that's quite fun then of course we have weapon skins and to be completely honest with you guys i don't collect these at all so yeah 
let's just skip over those. And now, of course, the most important things after the kill fact, we have the characters and yeah, we have a few of the event ones. We also have this one right here, the TC cube. I think that one is still quite hilarious and a few other ones as well. So quite nice. And last but not least, of course, the characters. And you can see I've been collecting quite a lot of these. I mostly use the randomizer or shuffle feature right here. So we get always a random one after we spawn, which I think is the best. But to be honest, we have quite a few. I'm just going to focus, I guess, on some special ones. We have some event items like this one from the Amazon and Roblox Arsenal collaboration, which I think is really cool. We also have the boy right here. It's a very nice one. I really like this one, to be honest. Next up, of course, we have some of my favorite ones, I think, right here. The Seeker of the Hearts, which was one of the characters from the Valentine's event. I really like that one. And then, of course, we have some really cool delinquents, I think. Um, let me just showcase some of these right here. We have the AC delinquent, which I think looks really, really sick. We have the Block C delinquent. We have the standard one. We have the cool one. We have the cool one with an unusual effect right here. We have the delinquent with no brim. We have another delinquent with another unusual effect. Normal delinquent with, of course, the Sense Undertale effect. We have the Elf delinquent with also an unusual. We have the Reference delinquent. We have the Slaughter delinquent. We have the Summer delinquent. And, of course, once again, with an unusual. I do happen to have a lot of these with the unusual effect from the Sense Undertale event because I spent, I think, approximately nine hours getting all the characters I had at the time. With, of course, all of these effects, we have one of these sparkling Franks right here. We have, of course, the Froggy, which I really like. We have the Gestel right here with, of course, an unusual effect, which is very, very nice, by the way. We have the Clown skin, which I really like personally. We have the Christmas Nomad, a very nice skin as well. The Cow one, of course, is also pretty cool. We have the Elf one, we have the Normal one, Unusual one, and then, of course, the Summer one once again. So you can see we have quite a lot of skins and that's kind of going to be the update. I'm just going to go through one more time quite slowly so you can see all of the skins that we've collected over the past few years in Arsenal. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay hydrated and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.